Hi, I'm Brandon. I'm with our reptile division here at Josh's Frogs. I'm here today to talk to you about some lovely animals that are, as a part of our 13 Days of Horror sale running through October 31st, are going to be $13 off. So it's a really good opportunity to pick some of these guys up if you want. And with no further ado, the animal in question today are our shield tail agama. These are some critters that we've been having tons of success with this past breeding season. Um, we've had plenty available. Uh, this is a really fun species of agama from uh, Ethiopia and Somalia. Um, they are super fun to keep. Uh, you can see where they get their namesake from is that little uh, disc shaped tail that they got. Uh, a really fun behavior that they'll do is uh, when they feel like they need to escape and hide, they'll go dig down into their burrows and then they'll plug the hole with that little uh, expanded tail there. Um, uh, additionally, uh, this guy in particular is one of our males. You can kind of see up through his throat. Uh, they always kind of got that little bit of blue blush going through their throat when they're males, but especially during the breeding season, that will increase to an absolutely stunning, vibrant, iridescent blue. It it literally looks photoshopped when you, but you just kind of got to see it in real life to believe it. Um, they're a super fun little species. Um, and like I said, uh, we've had tons of success. We have tons of babies to share with you, so really shortly here. They're going to be a part of our 13 days of horror sale. Um, but with the little critter demonstration out of the way, um, I'm gonna take out one of our females to show off as I talk about their care a little bit, just so you know what you're getting into if you decide to pick up one of these guys. Uh, this is an example of one of our females. They get a little bit larger. Uh, she's a little chunkier because they're about to be put into brumation as a part of their breeding cycle. But, um, so these guys appreciate a lot of space. So honestly, for adult shield tail agama, I would even go larger than this. I would recommend a 24 by 18 enclosure. Um, something to suit that's super important. You'll see in the front of the substrate there, uh, the amount of moisture that's laden through there. Even though these guys come from a very stereotypically arid region, they uh, were really digging down towards areas of high moisture. So being able to have a super deep substrate, I would say that this is a better example of a baby setup than an adult setup because adults are going to want approximately at least four to six inches of appropriate substrate. Uh, this is a really nice blend of basically sand and topsoil, about two to one uh, topsoil to one part sand. Uh, and then you can introduce some trace amounts of like excavator clay to help them hold their burrows a little bit better and hold some moisture. But super deep digging media for these guys, even with how tiny they are. They absolutely love to dig. It's their favorite thing to do. That's what they're built around to do in the wild. Um, you can see they've got a lot of fun pattern variation. Um, these are a little bit more typical of the species, but you can see that he's got some really fun sort of splotching and banding through there. Some of them hatch out and they're bright yellow and some of them are red. Um, and just to give you an example of what you'd be getting into if you decide to pick one of these guys up. We've got, these are some of our newborn babies. Uh, they hatched out a week or two ago. Um, you can see this guy is already starting to develop a little bit of the blush too. They're, uh, one of the fun things about the babies is it's really easy to tell what gender they are pretty young in life. So I highly suspect this one's also going to be male. But they start off super, super tiny. Um, when you order them from us, they'll be a little bit larger than this. We typically want them to be a little bit bigger in order to do well with shipping. But... Um, that's just an example of just how tiny they are when they first come in. These guys, uh, when they're babies, are absolutely ravenous. They love to eat tons and tons and tons of tiny little bugs. They seem to like smaller feeders as opposed to larger feeders, uh, even though he's got a head to take down like a quarter inch, even maybe sometimes half inch cricket. He really prefers to eat like the smaller eighth inch, um, at least at this size. But. Basically, when they're this young, you're going to be feeding them basically every day. Uh, tons of little crickets, uh, bean beetles, that sort of thing. 
Um, and then I like to offer them because they are omnivorous. So they're kind of like little bearded dragons. Uh, you're going to want to offer them leafy greens and uh, select vegetables. Basically the same sort of thing as you'd be feeding a bearded dragon, but they don't need it as often as the dragons do. I really only offer these guys uh, salad once a week and it's about all they need. But they are a super fun species to keep in my opinion, um, and they are one of the select reptiles that are going to be $13 off uh, as a part of our 13 days of horror sale. Um, in addition to that, if you're looking to get one of these guys and set them up, uh, all of our dry goods as well are going to be 13% off uh, throughout the entire sale. So definitely be sure to check out our website for some awesome deals on uh, substrates and select reptiles and frogs. It's been a pleasure talking to you.